Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn the proximal and distal interphalangeal joint mobilization technique based on the MWM treatment approach. A physiotherapist can utilize these treatment techniques to manage patients who complain of pain and restriction in the IP joints and there is inability to make a fist. So to perform the IP joint mobilization technique, the patient is going to remain seated and the therapist will stand facing the patient. The patient's forearm can remain supported or just the elbow can remain supported and we can just bend the elbow to the comfortable degree. Now let's say that there is stiffness and pain in the proximal IP joint of the index finger. So let's see what all options do we have to mobilize the IP joint. So the first option that we have is to deliver a radial glide to the PIP. So to deliver the radial glide to the PIP, one hand is going to stabilize the proximal phalanx just proximal to the IP joint while the other hand is going to give a radial glide. So the thumb and index finger are going to be utilized to deliver this radial glide and now we are going to ask the patient to perform the flexion and extension movement of the IP joint. The second option is that if the radial glide is not working then we can try the ulnar glide to the IP joint. So again our stabilization is going to remain the same and this time we are going to glide the middle phalanx towards the ulna or medial direction. So this is going to be our glide and now maintaining this glide we will ask the patient to perform the flexion and extension movement. The third option that we have is to add rotation prior to giving the lateral or medial glide. So let's say if we want to give the radial glide then we can just add the internal rotation movement prior to the glide and then perform the offending movement. So this is our stabilization right here and now I deliver the internal rotation glide to the middle phalanx and then I deliver the lateral glide and now I ask the patient to perform the PIP flexion and extension movement. Similarly, if you want to deliver the ulnar glide, in that case I can give the external rotation glide first and then the ulnar glide or medial glide and then the patient can perform the flexion and extension movement of the PIP joint. And the same concept can be used for treating all the IP joints of the fingers. Do try this technique especially in patients who complain of post fracture stiffness and there is reduction in the grip strength as well as reduction in the available range of motion in the IP joint. So see you all in our next video till then keep learning keep sharing and stay connected.